In 2000, a non-surgical abortion medication was approved by the Food and Drug Administration. Eleven years later, the Arizona state government banned nurse practitioners from dispensing the medication, instead requiring a doctor to be present. This effectively stopped Planned Parenthood from being able to offer this kind of care in Arizona because of a lack of doctors on staff. Legislation banned nurse practitioners from providing the care. The care itself was still legal, but only a doctor uh, is uh, allowed to provide the care. And after two and a half years, we found a doctor here in Northern Arizona to do that. Brian Howard says that the difficulty in finding a doctor willing to assist Planned Parenthood comes from the fear of retribution in the community. Um, given that we've had some experience with uh, people who oppose uh, the services we provide, um, harassing um, our physicians, our nurses, our staff, um, we're not sharing the name of the provider. He says that he believes protesters have less of an issue with abortion and more with granting women control over their own medical decisions. And the reason I say that is because we haven't offered uh, abortion-related services for the past two and a half years, and we still had protesters in front of our old location.